welcome back to my channel um today we're going to be doing a makeup look with the manny mua palette his collaboration with makeup geek so this is the look that i recreated i had a lot of fun with it i honestly when i first started filming i didn't even know what i was gonna do yet and then as i started going i just started incorporating a bunch of things and i had a lot of fun with this look so i really hope that you guys enjoy it and yeah see you next time bye Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The first thing I'm going to do is use my Fit Me Concealer as my eye primer. Once I'm done putting in my concealer, I set it with my Laura Mercier powder. I'm clearly very excited, but now I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette. I'm taking the color Beaches and Cream on my Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm using this as my transition color, so I'm going to put it all over my lid. Then I'm taking the color Sora on my Morphe M433 brush, and I'm putting it on my crease. I like going in with windshield wiper motions only because it makes it easier for me to blend it all out. And it should be there because that's our transition color. This brush has no name on it, but all you need is a big blending brush and all you need to do is just blend it all out in circular motions. Then I'm going in with Frap on my outer crease using the same Sigma E25 brush. We want to go in with shield wiper motions on the crease again and basically the outer corner putting it into the crease a little bit. <laughs> then I'm going in with the beautiful Aphrodite on my e.l.f. contour brush. All you want to do with the e.l.f. contour brush is just pack it onto the outer corner. Then I go in with my Sigma E25 brush again and I blend it all out. Now I'm spritzing my Morphe M224 brush with some Fix Plus. And I'm packing Luna on my lid, but I don't want to go too out so that it doesn't catch the Aphrodite. I want it to stay right in the middle and in the inner corner. Now I'm going in with the Sigma E25 brush again and I'm just blending it all out so that it doesn't look too harsh. Now I'm taking my Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner by Maybelline. I usually like keeping my eyeliner really low, which is what I did with this look. I don't like wearing fake eyelashes, so I don't feel like I need a bold eyeliner since I'm not putting anything on top of them. Now I'm taking my NYX Liquid Black Liner, and I'm going to draw in my wing with this. I don't like doing it with the other one because I feel like it's too thick to draw a nice wing on it. Now I'm taking a makeup wipe and I'm wiping off the fallout underneath my eyes. I don't know why I didn't get it on camera, but now I'm taking my Porefessional by Benefit and I'm just putting four dots all over my face. After this, with some clean hands, I'm going to blend it into my face with my fingers. Then I'm taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and I'm putting three strikes on each cheek. 
then one on my chin, one on my nose, and one on my forehead. Then I'm going to bluff that out with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Now I'm going to highlight my face with the same Fit Me concealer that I used on my eyelids. Now taking a damp beauty blender, I like to dab my concealer into my face. You don't want to do strikes because if you do strikes then the concealer is just going to fall off your face after a while. Now I'm going to contour my face with the Fit Me foundation stick in the color Coconut 355. I know it looks a little scary but once you blend it in you'll see how nice it actually turns out. I like to put this on my cheekbones and my temples, a little bit on my forehead, my nose, and my jawline. Now taking the other side of the beauty blender, not the tip, but the flat side, I like to go in and just blend in that contour. Now going in with the shade and light palette on my Morphe M438 brush, I'm going to take levitation and set the highlight all over my face. As you can see, I'm patting the powder on my face. I'm not doing swiper motions or anything like that because if you do that, then it's just going to take that highlight right off. After that dance break, I'm going to take Subconscious and Shadow Play on my Morphe E4 brush. I don't really know why, but I just like mixing these two colors together and I feel like it gives me the perfect shade to contour. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. stipple brush and I'm just going to blend in that contour. I do this because I usually don't like my contour to look so harsh. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder on my Sigma F30 brush and I'm just going to set some of the parts of my face that I wasn't able to set with the highlighting powders. Now I'm taking Champagne Pop by Becca on my Morphe M501 brush and I'm going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones. I also like putting a little bit on my nose, my forehead, and on my chin. Now going back in with Aphrodite, I'm using the Morphe M432 brush to pack the shadow on the bottom lash line. As you can see, I'm only packing that eyeshadow on the outer part of my lash line because we're going to go in with more colors in a little bit. Now I'm taking Sora with the same Morphe brush and I'm going to pack it on the middle part of my lash line.
Now I'm going to spritz that same Morphe brush with Fix Plus and I'm going to go in with Luna and I'm going to put it in on my inner lash line. Now going in with the e.l.f. Professional Defining Brush, I'm going to take Artemis and I'm going to blend it into the inner corner. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil and I'm going to line my waterline and my tight line. After the liner, I like going in with mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Black is Black. Don't forget to wiggle! <laughs> Now on to the lips. I'm going in with the NYX lip liner in the color natural and I'm just lining my lips as close to my actual lips as possible. Once I'm done lining my lips, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Collection in the color 370 Jennifer's Nude. <music> to finish my lips up, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the color Snow Pink. After I'm done with basically everything, I go in with my spoolie and I just brush my eyebrows out. As I told you guys before, I don't really like putting anything in them because I just haven't found anything for them yet. That's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!